What's up YouTube? I'm out here sitting in the RS5 today with a little bit different of a video. Um, gonna be telling you why I'm ditching polarized sunglasses. Uh, about me, if you know anything about me personally, is that I, I love nice sunglasses. I also have a propensity for losing them in uh, drunken states. But anyway, I do love nice sunglasses and we, I, yeah, I know we could talk about how Luxottica makes all of them and artificially inflates the price, whatever. I, I get that, but I still love them. My uh, drug of choice is Ray-Bans. I, I love my Ray-Bans and I, I'm wearing some now. I also uh, have quite a few of them. Um, yeah, anyway. So, uh, the issue with polarized sunglasses comes into play when you have a heads-up display. And my last few cars have all had, had heads-up displays. The Camaro Z01 had a heads-up display. My Corvette Z06. The Raptor, the 2019 Raptor had the heads-up display. And most recently, the RS5 and the Range Rover problem with this is polarization is essentially a film on the lenses that filters out horizontal light and allows in vertical light. Heads up displays use horizontal reflection of light to reflect an image on the windshield and therefore when your camera is not your camera I'm looking at the camera when your lenses are oriented in a certain direction it filters out that light if you've ever looked at your uh an lcd screen while wearing polarized lenses you'll notice this effect and i'm going to demonstrate it here for you so this is why i am starting at least in my i, I keep a pair of sunglasses in all my vehicles but in the uh heads up display vehicles we are moving to the non-polarized lenses um, I just bought these yesterday. These are some Ray-Bans, and if you notice, they do not have the P beside the Ray-Ban. That P means polarized. So these are just some brown lenses. Um, and I'm going to show you why uh, that lack of polarization is important. I've got the camera set up uh, behind the heads-up display, and we are zoomed in uh, just to give you an idea of how polarization affects these heads-up displays. So let's start with some of my polarized Ray-Bans. I'm gonna put those in front of the camera. And look at that. We are completely filtering out the heads up display. Now, if we rotate, you'll see it starts to come back into play. That's because, like I said, we are filtering out horizontal light. Now, I'll show you some other ones. These are my aviators, also polarized. And when we rotate, we start to come back into view. are my new uh, new Wayfarers with the light force frames also polarized and you see when we get the uh, tilt in we get our image back sorry try not to knock the camera with the uh, the uh, legs here And that brings me to my newest pair, which are less expensive, since they do not have the polarized lens. These are my new Ray-Bans. These are also new Wayfarers. But look at that. We have a brown lens, which still blocks the sunlight from uh, hurting our eyes. But we can clearly still see the heads-up display. You don't need to rotate. You don't need to tilt your head. It's just there. 
with that said, if you're going to have a car with a heads-up display, unless you just never use it, uh, get you some sunglasses. You can get some nice sunglasses, or not, doesn't matter, uh, but non-polarized. Um, as far as UV rays, your, uh, your windshield and your windows filter those out. So, I mean, you're not really missing out on that feature. You're still protecting your eyes, uh, and you're able to see things a little better, including your heads-up display. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was a little informative. Um, as for me, I'm ditching polarized glasses going non-polarized. Have a good one.